Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. It's another Farming Simulator 22 update. Today is very exciting. Before we get into this, subscribe to the channel, like the video, join Discord, all the normal stuff. Let's see what we've got in store. <laughs> Okay, so today we are looking at the first of the fact sheets. Uh, so Fact Sheet Friday is returning, and this will be every Friday until the release of the game on uh, November 22nd. Um, we've got the first uh, four fact sheets today. Obviously, today is Wednesday, so it's a couple of days early, but it is still very exciting. Um, so all of these will be posted on the Farming Simulator social media channel. So there will be Discord, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, obviously, the first one today is on their website. I don't know if they continue that on their website at all. I know it says down here about social channels, but uh, not necessarily the website. So we'll soon find out about that. Um, but we've got a very nice picture here already. You can see New Holland Combine. I reckon that little compact tractor there is definitely, it's got to be a Landini got to be hopefully you can all see that but that it's got to be landini which is really exciting if it is assuming that's the new mac because we are getting them come to the game now uh, we've got the fent compact tractor the zeta i can't remember which model it is uh the stone picker attached behind um looks like a probably a fent uh forage harvester um john deere there Few bits dotted around on there but anyway let's get into the uh fact sheets we've got today so the first one the fent 900 vario tractor and the vadestad rapid a so both of those are returning to the game um i'm assuming they'll be the um 2021 editions or the 2020 2021 editions depending on when each brand released their new model um so you can see very very nice looking and seeing uh that sort of new uh, coloration to the game uh, obviously drilling the field at the moment now the rapid a is of course a direct drill so it can do it on the harvested uh, ground looking very cool so the 900 vario comes under uh, tractor category so it looks like we're just going back to the one category perhaps uh, or maybe they're still doing small medium large who knows but this definitely suggests they're only doing the one category again and so this one has 296 horsepower um, a fuel capacity of 625 liters and this is something that's quite interesting so we've got the weight here so this is 11.5 tons and this is going to be quite a big aspect of the game uh, of course we are seeing a lot of new features coming in and i'd say ground compaction is going to be one of them especially when we get to the precision uh, farming dlc very interesting to see that there and then the price is uh, base price 280,000 of course uh, with any customizations that will definitely be going up um, now of course we've got the new gearbox in the game uh, this one uses variable CVT so this will I'm fairly certain CVTs work similar to automatics they've just got a little bit extra to them so probably high gear low gear um, and then doing the auto process but uh, we'll soon find out of course we do have manual vehicles in the game now as well and i believe i've seen a video but i believe if you have um a wheel set up and you have a shifter with it you can use that with um this new game which is really quite cool um but we'll, we'll find out obviously later um now top speed of this tractor uh, on the road would be 37 miles an hour so Quite a decent speed for a tractor, I'd say. On to the Rapid A uh, category of cedars. Requires 240 horsepower to uh, work, which is actually higher than previous ones. So I'd assume this is the newer model. Um, I know the uh, one we had in the last game, I can't remember which version it was, but that only required 180 horsepower. Just while we're looking, the old one was 6 metres, this one is 8 metres, so that will be why the horsepower has increased. Again, we've got a weight here, so that's a 7.7 .7 tonne uh, piece of machinery. Um, 
Top working speed of 11 miles an hour. 195, uh, 159,500 uh, to buy. Um, that seems quite a lot for a Cedar, unless, I don't know, um, might be making that up. It does seem a lot, though. Um, 300 and uh, three, I can't speak today, 3,100 litre um, capacity. Now, it does take seed only, and so there's no fertiliser as well. You can see some of the crop symbols that we've got here. Uh, so we've got wheat, barley, oat, canola, um, the new crop, which sorghum, um, soybeans, oilseed, radish, and grass. So I think uh, slightly changed symbols, very similar to the previous ones. Um, I think there's too big of a change there. Yeah, that's the first fact sheet, all looking very good. As we scroll down, here we have the new Mac that I was on about, the Superliner. Um, and it's got a Convey All uh, trailer. I'm assuming that's one of the American branded trailers as well. I know it's definitely an American truck. You can see here this has a manual gearbox. So I'm assuming this is where we can use our shifter, which is going to be very fun. Uh, so this obviously comes under the trucks category. 500 horsepower. I'm assuming you might be able to upgrade that if you put a new engine in it. 400 litre fuel capacity. 8.8 uh, .8 tonnes. So it's actually less than the tractor, which is... I, I would have said that these would be heavier, but... Uh, well, obviously I'm wrong. Um, 110,000 uh, euros to buy. And a top speed of 49 miles an hour. See that looking very, very cool there. I do like Mack trucks. I think out of all the American ones, Mack is definitely one of my favourites. Now, onto the trailer. So this is the CST 1550. And it's actually an auger wagon. So it's not uh, a proper trailer as such. And I'm assuming that's what this bit is. So this is sort of the belt. So it, um, everything drops out of here. Goes up the back and up sort of a conveyor then out, I'd say, perhaps. And um, so this has a volume of 43.8 uh, cubic meters. It's interesting they've done it like that instead of the liters that we saw with the cedar. Um, because either, either way, they both work the same because they're both uh, measurement uh, of volume. But it looks like we're probably going to be able to change that quite a bit. Now, I think you probably could before. Um, I always kept it on litres, um, default, just a bit easier for me. Um, anyway, 114,000 euro uh, purchasing cost and 11.5 tonnes uh, of weight. Um, and this is an interesting bit. So when it's loaded, it will do 34 tonnes. And I think this is going to be something else that we see as well. So the weight will obviously affect the engine and uh, the drag and how you're going to be shifting up and down the gears. But I wonder if they're also going to introduce that so that um, certain sell points won't accept you if you're over the weight limit. Um, it'd be interesting to see if they do do that. And it'd also be interesting to see if um, you can get overfilling from the combine. So um, there's... Obviously, at the moment, once you reach 100%, that is it. It will just shut off. But it will be interesting to see if you can reach that limit but still go over and then you lose some of the crop because obviously it'd spill over the sides and onto the ground. Um, and you'd have to try and clear it up. So it'd be interesting to see if we get that. I don't think they would do that, um, but it would be quite cool to see. So you can see down here, it does take a range of crops. So we've got, again, wheat, barley, um, oat, canola, sorghum soybeans, uh, sunflowers, corn, then also seed and fertilizer, uh, which is quite a, a cool thing. Um, obviously in uh, 19, you don't have those symbols show up. You can put the seed and the fertilizer in, but it doesn't necessarily show up um, when you're purchasing it. Quite cool to see that um, that's now in there. On to the next one. This is about the um, new class Trion. Uh, this is the 750-720. So 
So that covers both variants. I'd say that's probably an average cost from the, the cheapest, which is 357000 uh, Category Harvester, obviously, as expected, it is a Combine Harvester, and it does look absolutely amazing. Um, do love the look of this Combine. It is just... it. I love Class uh, anyway, but this particular one just looks really, really awesome. Uh, and you can see it's actually harvesting, I'd say that's the sorghum, the new crop. So we get a little look at that. Um, so it has 367 horsepower. Obviously, that should be upgradable. Um, obviously, we've got the different engine variants here. So 720 would probably have that and then 750 goes up more. Or is it 750 has that and 720 is less? I don't know which way around it would be. Um, fuel capacity, 800 litres, and a grain tank of uh, 10,500 litres, so that's a fairly decent size. Um, quite good for a whole range of uh, farms, really, small, large, medium. This would fit nicely into all of them, I'd say. Um, obviously, you can take um, all of the different crops. You'd obviously need different header. Um, as you can see down here, the Convio Flex uh, 1080 doesn't take the corn or the sunflowers. Um, obviously, you'd need the special header for that. It'll be interesting to see if they add a class branded one or whether it's just a sort of a general branded one. Uh, one of the brands like Capello that uh, do it for a whole range of machines. So it'll be interesting to see that. Uh, again, a variable CVT gearbox, so a lot like the Fent 900. Top uh, road speed of 18 miles an hour, then a weight of 16.9 tons. Now the header obviously comes under the header category. Surprise, surprise. Um, it weighs 2.8 tons. Uh, it's got a working speed of 6 miles an hour. Costs uh, 63,500 euros. Has a working width of 10.8 meters, so quite a decent sized header. That is a very nice sized header. Um, again, for all farms, obviously, the very small farms, not so much, um, but it is still really decent. Now, on to the final one, and this is a bit different. So, we've seen machinery on the previous three, now we're on to uh, what you can purchase so, seed and fertilizer. See, these ones are all fertilizer. Um, so we've got the I can't, I can't read any of these, but this is an actual brand. I think that supply um, these different items uh, KS or K plus, it or I don't know, whatever it is. Um, obviously, top to bottom goes left to right. The first, uh, first one comes under fertilizer, just plainly fertilizer. Uh, 750 litres uh, on the pallet. Uh, 1,400 euros per pallet. Um, and you can see here the symbol for liquid fertiliser, which is quite interesting because these are bags. Not entirely sure how that works or what that's about, especially as you've got the category fertiliser, another category liquid fertiliser, and then solid fertiliser big bag. So... Um, yep, that's another point. Big bags are now in Farm Sim 22. Obviously, we had the mod for the previous games. Now we've actually got them base game, which is very cool. Uh, these will be used a lot in my Let's Plays. We'll, we'll just say that now. Um, anyway, the next one, which is these two here. Sort of a combination of the liquid fertilizer along the front and the bags at the back. But again, this is a liquid fertilizer. 6,000 litres. Uh, it costs 9,600 euros per pallet, so very pricey. Uh, but again, symbol for liquid fertilizer. I'm really intrigued though, because obviously um, those those um, canisters are, are definitely going to be a liquid. But these bags, that doesn't shout liquid to me. That says more solid fertilizer. But again, we'll find out uh, when a bit later on um, when more information is released and also... Uh, if not, then when the game is released. Uh, but this one particularly, solid fertilizer big bag, 1,000 litres uh, capacity. It costs 1,820 euros. And you can see here the symbol for solid fertilizer. So that 
uh, 100% correct. I, again, I'm not really sure about the liquid fertilizer symbols on these two. Um, but again, we'll find that out later on. And that is it. So uh, on Friday or uh, Friday after, to say because they've released this early, it'll be next week, not uh, a couple of days from when I'm recording this. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, find out what else they have to reveal. Looking at fantastic so far, though. Very, very excited for Farming Simulator 22 to come out. Let me know all of your opinions uh, in the comment section. Um, join my Discord and uh, chat about it in there as well. Let me know all of your thoughts, uh, all of your comments on it. Um, again, subscribe and like uh, all the normal stuff. You, you guys should know this already. I say it every video. Um, but again, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all for your support. And hopefully you are as excited Farming Simulator 22 as I am. Anyway, I'll catch you next time.